Okay, so since we're ready to build, let's go ahead and open up a terminal and uh, see what we get. So first, let's change directory and get into our Lineage Marshmallow folder. Uh, we're going to build environment setup. If you need some help with some of these things, I have other videos that explain that in greater depth. Right now, we're just looking at the more advanced things like upgrading from one version of Android to another. So, in theory, we can now use a uh, command like lunch and we'll say cm underscore life xl uh, dash eng and uh, see if that pops up what error do we get repository not found device not found attempting to retrieve device okay so here's the problem device blue MSM 8916 common does not exist so in cm.make I call this file and so let's take a look right okay device blue life XL full life XL Let's take a look here. So it's calling. Oh, we don't need that. 5510. We need a life Excel. And device blue life Excel device dot make. Fender device blue. Here we go. <coughs> Which we decided for now we were going to use the Wicco common and see if that works. If that does, that'll save us a lot of maintenance of having to um, continuously upgrade the Wicco common if that common portion is the same for all MSM 8916 system on chip phones. So we're hoping to use that, um, but we will see. If we do have to make our own changes, we'll just copy that repository, make our own version of that repository, and upgrade that as well. So hopefully now That'll work. Try and dependencies only mode on a non existent device tree. And it's like, hey, that's what you want to build, right? And uh, notice we're going to build Marshmallow. And it's going to be an unofficial for Life XL. And let's, uh, let's see what we get. So we can actually uh, use um, Brunch as well instead of Lunch and go ahead and build everything for ourselves. I'll give it a second here to see if we get any errors that crop up right off the bat. And uh, if not, we will um, wait to see what the final build looks like. Anytime now. And just some uh, tips and tricks. I really recommend using an eng build when you're doing this for the first time. Um, you know, because an engineering build is uh, just um, set up a little better for ADB and allowing you to, uh, you know, uh, get in there and run ADB as the root user. And. Uh, user is designed if you uh, build a variant for a user that's designed for the end user user debug allows the user to do some debugging with things like ADB uh, some of those functions uh, can be enabled and an eng build the ADB uh, should be on from the from the get-go uh, which is really what you want when you're doing something for the first time because you're probably going to end up doing a lot of work on it um, and notice I am building this with Ubuntu 14.04. I know that sounds ludicrously old, good old trusty, but uh, do keep in mind that uh, that's what uh, Google recommended for building, uh, especially these older versions of Android. But uh, as of uh, today's date, which is uh, January 28th of 2019, that's still listed on their website as the de facto tested and approved 
um, operating system to build Android with. And I've built everything from uh, Lollipop uh, all the way up through Pi on 1404, and I highly recommend it. Um, at this moment, for these videos, I'm running this inside of a virtual machine. So if you have some hardware issues, you could always install whatever operating system you want and use a virtual machine. Of course, that does take a little bit more RAM, um, but uh, just something to consider. And of course, we ran into a problem right off the bat. Um, it says, no rule to make target. Vendor blue LifeXL proprietary vendor app IMS IMS.app needed by our out folder. Uh, there's no rule to make it. So we're going to have to jump into vendor and take a look. Let's see what we got here. Vendor, our blue. Life Excel. Um, let's see what we've got here. Probably a byproduct of doing some upgrades and need to check that out a little better. So Vendor Blue proprietary vendor app IMS IMS.apk is missing. So let's highlight that. We'll take a look in here. Control Find. And we'll look for our IMS APK. That is not listed in here at all, so it must be listed in the device tree somewhere. Right? We'll take a look here and also android.make. Oh, here it is. It's listed in our android.make and it's saying that this folder should exist. Proprietary vendor app IMS IMS.apk. So let's take a look and see, because these are built based on the proprietary text files. Uh, let me just show you that in case you have some questions about that. So proprietary files and proprietary files QC, these are used in conjunction with setup make file and extract files um, to yeah, extract and set up to um, set up the folders and say this is what we need and then extract to actually pull it from the phone and uh, it's uh, saying that it should have this IMS APK and it does not exist so um, let's take a look in our folder proprietary vendor app IMS proprietary vendor uh, and there is no app folder at all so one of the things we can do is uh, let's look at our donor phone uh, vendor wico l5510 proprietary um, so we see proprietary vendor proprietary vendor and it's not in here but notice as soon as i looked into app i saw this ims and it was here in app so um, let's check ours to see if it's in app and it is in app under IMS so one of the things we could do is it's not in vendor we can just take that vendor out so it's app IMS IMS.apk let's save that and uh, while we're doing this let's take a look to see if there's any other vendor app that might be missing vendor proprietary vendor app no that was the only one so let's take a look at that and see if that builds a little better make sure you save your file or else it's not going to work very good and we'll give that a go So I'll keep working on these things and uh, hopefully we'll check out the finished results when we're done.